That's too much! Too much! Too much! This right here was my first attempt at underpinning a footing. Honestly, this looks exactly how it felt doing it. Overwhelming, sloppy, and a little bit out of my depth. But with all the comments and feedback that you guys were giving me on this part of it, we ended up with this. So at the end of this video, I'm going to share my key lessons on how to go from this to this. That's too much! Too much! Too much!
takeaways that I can share with you on how to underpin your footing and go from this to this. The first and main takeaway that I can give you is figure out your bracing. What we did on this side using these mailbox posts did the trick. We were able to drive them 20 or 30 inches into the ground and there was absolutely zero way that this was kicking out. And because we lag bolted them into this existing footing, this was never going to kick out. When we were doing this part, we were worried more about this footing kicking out or this form kicking out versus us actually doing the job of installing this. And my second important takeaway is the use of non-shrink grout. So because we left that inch and a half to two inch gap right here, we were then able to pour in that non-shrink grout that was mixed with that adhesive. So the connection between our old footing and our new foundation is way stronger than this. This basically just relies on one sitting on top of it, the other, where this one almost acts like as if it was glued together. So those are the two main takeaways that I can share with you to go from this to this. You can do this.